Hey there, it's Mark. Welcome to Truck and Tuesday. Today I'm going to talk about what monster trucks do I buy? Now when I say monster trucks, am I talking about Hot Wheels Monster Trucks? That's their brand name, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. But monster trucks is a generic category of monster trucks. Monster trucks like this. Spin Master acquired the rights to produce Monster Jam monster trucks a couple years ago. Hot Wheels had the licensing rights for, I don't know, about 18 years. I said I was going to talk about what do I like to buy. Well, I like to buy Patriotic diecast, red, white, and blue. These are when Hot Wheels had the Monster Jam license. They definitely had a few that fit my collecting niche of red, white, and blue. Patriotic red, white, and blue. And here's one from Spin Master. This one was an online exclusive. I collected the Hot Wheels Monster Jam for many years. El Toro Loco. So if Spin Master reissues an El Toro Loco and it looks pretty much like this, I'm probably not going to buy one. I already have plenty. One of my favorite years of Hot Wheels Monster Jam is when they had these team flags. You will be seeing more of those on race crews. Mm-hmm. Both brands have what is called chase trucks. As collectors, we interpret that to mean that they produce fewer of this release than their normal mass-produced colors. However, both companies do not disclose what the production quantities are. Those were Hot Wheels Monster Jam chase trucks. Now let's take a look at what Spin Master has done. In 2019, Spin Master had ride trucks. It's basically like an event truck to where they charge for people. No, that's not it. In 2019, Spin Master had what are called training trucks. These are like the trucks that they use when they're actually practicing before the events. I do have extras of this one. I have them in my eBay store if you're interested. The link is in the description below. I do have this extra one. I know I've opened one before, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt to open up another one. You wanna, you wanna hang out for a bit? Okay. As you can see, it's a training truck. So it just has the shell for decoration, but otherwise they don't put the rest of the fiberglass. Why put the fiberglass when it's gonna get smashed anyways? Since it has no body, it needs weight. Bodies are normally metal, but they made this, they made this piece out of plastic. So what they did is the motor part underneath, the, it's not really the chassis, this part right here, this is metal. So it gives it some weight. Here is El Toro Loco. El Toro Loco also got a release for 2020. What Spin Master did for their chase pieces, they had ride trucks. So basically they have a truck and then they put seats in the back and then before the show, they charge people to have rides in the truck. They get to ride around the stadium or special event, depending on where it's held. It seems like they're gonna release six trucks per year for their chase series. So 2019, Dragon was one of the chases. Earthshaker was a, a chase. I don't have, a, I didn't open mine up yet. I just opened up El Toro Loco. Here's a Grave Digger. Hurry up, faster, faster. Here is a Grave Digger training truck. They also had Megalodon and Zombie. You know Grave Digger is going to get a chase every year. It's, it's their marquee truck, right? So is El Toro Loco. That got a ride truck release as well in 2020. Not like I need an excuse, but let's go ahead and set a couple of the uh, Spin Master chases free. It's nice to keep them in the package for display, but they look great loose too. Besides, they don't roll very good when they're in a package. As you can see, Gravedigger got a unique and special design for the ride truck. El Toro Loco, yeah, I think all of them had one like this. I, I didn't check, but look, here's BKT. Oh, hard to see in the package. There you go, let's compare the inside. Uh, they probably just use the same tooling. Yep, looks exactly the same. The 2020 ride trucks, there were six again, BKT. There was also a Blue Thunder, an Earthshaker. Here's the El Toro Loco. Here is Grave Digger, and there was a Megalodon. I don't know if I have those, but if I do find them, I will open Earthshaker. 
Earth Shaker training truck. Oh, you want to join the party? Okay. Love those gold chrome hubs. Looks fantastic. I really like this one. What do you think? Hey, what do you think? For Spin Master, 2019 were the training trucks. 2020 were the ride trucks. For 2021, they're going to have Showtime trucks. And the Showtime trucks, kind of better for this, right? They created a special casting to release these. And see, this got a special casting. And even here for these, they modified the back so that they can pop it in. What they're going to do for 2021, let's just use, let's just use your, well, you're kind of, let's, what color, this color is easier to see on camera. They're going to call them Showtime. It's going to be a regular truck and they're going to detail like the engine. It's going to have special detailing under the carriage. So when you look at it, it's going to look like a regular truck until you realize Hey, it's got extra decos. Those are going to be the 2021 Showtime trucks, the chase pieces for Spin Masters Monster Jam trucks. So I buy the trucks that I like. If I find chases, I buy those as well. But you're probably wondering, what about that Hot Wheels monster truck that looks like a ride truck? I'll talk about that next. Oh no, I found my zombie training truck. There you go. He'll be on the he'll be over here on the side with the other ones I opened up. Now let's talk about the Hot Wheels monster trucks. I'll show some more Spin Master Monster Jam later on in the video. With the Hot Wheels monster trucks, I'm not buying everything. I'm just buying the ones that I like. Same thing with Spin Master. I have plenty of trucks. So if I find a VW bus, I'm gonna buy the VW bus. Love Snake Bite. Snake Bite's a pretty cool release. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. To be honest, it, it did look great in this new packaging. All this clearness, you could clearly see the truck and all that open space at the top of the packaging. There is snake bite. Hmm, I don't remember seeing that Vinny Venom underneath. Oh well, I just didn't pay attention. This one comes with a free recrushable car. These are pretty cool. They're made out of a silicone rubber, very squishy. They're better than the recrushable. I think they were called recrushable, crushable cars. The crushable cars were kind of hard to put together. They were made out of plastic. Uh, I like these better. By the way, you can see them underneath right there. See? I'm going to keep my Volkswagen Beetle in the package. It's the only one I have so far. Let me get a close up on Snake Bite. For the Hot Wheels Monster trucks, I'm definitely buying the classic trucks like Bigfoot. And here you have Snake Bite. I didn't know if it was the same on the other side. Appears to be the same. Yeah, I think so. For the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, I'm definitely going to buy trucks like this. Which brings me back to Hall, y'all. Well, there's a rumor that Mattel heard Spin Master was going to make ride trucks, so they beat him to the punch and released Hall, y'all. I don't know if that's true or not. Man. That's what the word on the street is. Opening up chase trucks? I don't care. It's not like they're that rare, okay? Besides, I like to collect them loose as well. I'm going to keep this one in the package. Just, I have my, I have my reasons, okay? I have my reasons. You can look in the back, see the uh, eight chairs in the back for people to get a ride, have fun at the events. Oh yeah, monster trucks, the Hot Wheels monster trucks, they have their events as well. Here's another reason why I don't buy every truck. I bought this to make a video to compare to the Spin Master ride trucks. That's really why I only bought this truck, because I can wait. Why do I have to wait? Because Hot Wheels, they tend to reissue trucks. And so now I bought this. Now I got the same truck over here, but look at this one. This one uh, showing up at Target, and it comes with a free car. What do they call this one? New crushed die-cast car. It's an actual car. Uh, it's like Hot Wheels size. I'm trying to look. I'm not sure if it has a metal body, metal base, plastic body, plastic base. I don't know. There's there's different versions. We'll look at the back. The name of the one I just showed you, that one's flat iron. And then I'll just show you these. You can pause if you want to read the names. 
As a matter of fact, uh, I did uh, did I did a video showing this one on Race Grooves TV. Here's another couple. And as far as the the cars, the reason why I like these sets better, for one, you get you get this. Secondly, uh, so it's nice to have all these. But like this one, this one's been issued, I think, before. Mm, I, I might not buy that one. It's just not interested for me. Did you buy any of these two packs that come with the new crushed diecast car? Did you buy it even though you already had the truck from a previous single? By the way, Hot Wheels is doing chase trucks in their monster truck line. There's going to be a Herbie. And I heard the Herbie the Love Bug is a chase. But, but I, I don't have that information for sure. They did have a Barbie Corvette in pink. That was a chase as well. Uh, I do hope to acquire them, but otherwise, I just kind of like to pick up trucks that I want. What? Sparkle Smash? Yeah, these are Spin Master Monster Jam trucks. I was able to find one of those. Here you have Horsepower. I'm going to save them in the package for now. Uh, and I only buy like a, I will buy a couple of each because I like my, for one, I can open one up. And then I can keep one in the package. If I open them up, I can use them for racing. Unfortunately, this is the only wolf's head that I have. Hard to find. I think it might be, it, it might actually wind up hitting the pegs in mass. It's not a rare truck. Looks fantastic like that one. Salvager. Mm, there's another, uh, I forgot what they call this series. There's another vehicle. Kind of looks like a customized Volkswagen or something. Uh, I really like this one. It has uh, different colored wheels, and they're different colored on the other side as well. This one, just kind of fun stuff. Horsepower. Looks pretty good. And I wind up getting a couple of each. If I use them in a video, what happens if the wheels get bent and then they don't roll very well? I need extras. So did that bother you that I opened my trucks? Do you open your trucks? Look, uh, you can collect... They're yours. You buy them. You can do what you want to do. Oh yeah, I got to clean up this mess. I generally do not sell new items, but you might find those El Toro Loco training trucks in my eBay store. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.